Hi everyone, this is Rachel from Adult Services, and today I'm going to show you how to read ebooks on your computer. You do not need a smartphone or an e-reader to access our ebooks. All you need is an internet connection and a laptop or desktop computer. So we're going to start out at our website, which is itascalibrary.org. Once you're there, we'll go to the How Do I tab. And then we'll go down to Download eMaterials. And we'll click on that link. This will bring us to the page that has links to our two eMaterial databases. And those are Digital Library of Illinois and Hoopla. It's important to know that both of these databases have different materials. So if you're looking for something specific, make sure you check both. We'll start with Digital Library of Illinois. And if you are a smartphone user, you might have previously added the apps Libby, L-I-B-B-Y, or Overdrive. And if you use those apps, the books on them are from this collection. So I'm going to open up the Digital Library of Illinois in a new tab. And that will bring us to the home page. I'm currently signed in, so I'm going to sign out. And then to sign in, we just go into the right hand corner and click the sign in button. Since I've previously signed in, Itasca Community Library already comes up, but when it's your first time, you will have to type in Itasca and select your library. Then we just type in our library card number. And that's found on your library card by the barcode. You'll also need your PIN. And your PIN is most likely the last four digits of your phone number. And that's the phone number you used when you signed up for your library card. Unless you've previously changed your PIN to something else. So we'll go ahead and sign in. So now that we've signed in and we're connected to the library, now we have access to all of the library materials. And the best way to look at what we have is to go to Collections over on the left-hand side. And if you click on that down arrow, it will bring us to the different materials. You'll see that Digital Library of Illinois has ebooks, audiobooks, and videos. Today we're going to focus on ebooks. And the way that I like to browse is going to Available Now. That's exactly what it sounds like. It means that everything in this collection you can check out right away. And then that brings us to everything that you can check out right now. You can also sort by author, title, release date, pop, and global popularity. I'm going to just go by title and see what comes up. And so that is alphabetical. So then all you have to do once you find something that interests you, I'm going to check out this five ingredients or less. To check out, you click on this borrow. And then you just have to confirm by clicking borrow again. And you'll see that it does give you the option to read with Kindle. So if you do have a Kindle, you can send it to your e-reader. But today we're focusing on reading on our laptops or desktop computers. And so we're going to click read now in browser. And that opens up a new tab with our book. To navigate our book, 
all we have to do is use the arrow keys on our keyboard. So you can click on the right and left keys. And you can just scroll through. And most books on Digital Library of Illinois are linked um, in their chapters. So if I want to go to a specific chapter, or in this case, a specific recipe, all I have to do is click on that link and it'll take me to that chapter or recipe. Now to change the settings on your ebook, you click towards the top of the screen and it will bring down the different settings. And so your settings are located towards the, these three bars that are meant to mim mimic a book page. So we'll click on that and you'll see that there's a search option if you're looking for a specific uh, word. Um, there's also the chapter listing again if you want to navigate the different chapters. And to go back to the options, I'll click on this back arrow here. There's a bookmark function, so if you want to save a place, you can actually click this bookmark symbol up here. And then when you want to access those bookmarks, they'll all be located in this tab here. Most importantly, here are the reading settings. This is how you change what the ebook looks like to you. So you can change the font size to bigger or smaller. And you can also include accessibility sizes to broaden the range of options. You can also change what the background looks like. So you can do bright, sepia, or dark. There's also different fonts. And there's also this open dyslexic setting, and this is a font that has been shown to help those with dyslexia read. That's all there is to reading an ebook on Digital Library of Illinois. I'm going to show you how to access your ebooks once you've exited out of it. So we'll exit out. And I'm going to go back to the home page of Digital Library of Illinois. So if you were just to go back on a different day to Digital Library of Illinois and sign into your account, this is what your page looks like. And so to access the ebooks that you've checked out, you're going to go to your My Account tab, which is over on the right hand side. Click the down arrow. And then you just click on Loans. And then here are all the books that we have checked out. And again, you just click that Read Now in Browser to open your book back up, and it will open to the page that you last left off on. So that's all there is to reading an ebook on Digital Library of Illinois. I'm going to go through the same process on Hoopla, which is a similar concept, but they look a little different. So I'm going to go back to our website and we're on the e-materials page. And I'm going to open up Hoopla on a new tab. And I was signed in, so I'm going to log out. Now with Hoopla, you do have to create an account with an email and a password, um, which I won't go through in this video, but you can send us a chat if you need help with that. Um, it will just have you use an email, create a password, and again, you'll need your library card number and your PIN. So I'm going to log in. And so it opens up to your account page and the titles that you have borrowed. 
but we're going to go through how to browse. And so on Hoopla, you will go to the top and you'll go to this Browse tab. And you'll see that Hoopla has audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television, so different types of materials than Digital Library of Illinois. But again, we're going to focus on ebooks, so we'll just click on ebooks. And again, it will show uh, all of our ebooks that we have, um, and you can change how they're sorted on the right hand side relevance, popularity, title, etc. So you can just scroll until you find something that interests you. I'm going to check out Writers and Lovers by Lily King. So I'll just click on the book. And so this takes you to a new page. And all I do is click on Borrow. And then confirm by clicking Borrow Title. And then if you look now, instead of Borrow, it says Read. And so you can click on Read. And that opens up our book. And again, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Or on Hoopla, you can use the arrows right on the pages. So then to change, the settings. They're already located up here in the right hand corner. The two T's are how you change what the ebook looks like. So here you'll use the sliding bar to change the size of the font. And you can also change the type of font. And again, there is the setting for dyslexia. You can change the background color, the line spacing, the margins, and whether you want two pages or one at a time. And to make those changes, you just click Apply. So then I'll show you how to access this again if you exit out. To exit, we can just press Close. And it brings us back to our home page, which has our account. So then if you scroll down, it shows what you have currently borrowed. And so to read, you click this play button, the little triangle. And then it will bring us right back to the page we are on. So that's all there is to reading the ebooks on your laptop or desktop computer. Um, if you do need help, you can go ahead and send us a chat, but hopefully this video will help you access all of our digital materials.